and you said that you weren't ready to fire Matt Nagy. Where do you stand now in your evaluation of the coaching staff moving forward? Yeah, uh, look, it's disappointing. I, I'm not one to just fire somebody, you know, every other day like some of the other people that happen to sit in the seat because I know how hard, one, everyone works, but more importantly, like, Jay will fundamentally, like, who, who, <laughs> who are you going to go get? You know, and you played for maybe the greatest college basketball coach of all time who struggled early in his career. And, you know, Zach Taylor was 6'25 and 1. He was ready to be gone on Labor Day. And I'm not saying Matt Nagy is going to be Mike Krzyzewski. I'm not saying that Chicago is going to go into Green Bay and beat them. But what I am saying is in the middle of the season, who are you going to get that's going to put, you know, Justin Fields in a better position to be successful? Yeah, it it you always want to give him the opportunity to weather the storm because Matt Nagy has taken the team to the playoffs a couple of times. He has shown some ability at times to turn the switch on. I just wonder when we look at Justin Fields from week to week and I, and I look at what they do, are they using the install from summer training camp playbook or all of a sudden are they changing everything and trying to implement things that they're not accustomed to as a staff because what typically happens and you know this Mike training camp we get a binder a yay bid and that's pretty much the season what's in there we're going to take from that and form our game plan and then every single week we see some footage from a few teams around the league that we may steal some ideas from but for the most part that game plan that big binder that we get in training camp that's what we use for the 17 weeks. I wonder if Chicago has scrapped that binder and decided to just try and do something different, and they don't know what they're doing as a staff. Hey, Key, that's a great point. And Rex Ryan, he deserves a ton of credit for this. From day one, rep one, minicamp one, Mark Sanchez was our quarterback. And we used to have a color-coded system with Brian Schottenheimer, our offensive coordinator, Red, Mark, you can only throw the ball 100% of the time the ball is going to be completed. Yellow, proceed with caution. Green, hey, we're down 10, let it rip. And to me, if Matt Nagy got away from Alex Smith, Patrick Holmes, and said, you know what, we drafted Justin Fields, his worst day, he's more talented than Andy Dalton, and we're going to put him in a position to be successful, Key, like you're saying, I think everything we're saying about them would have been totally different. Okay. See, when we, when we were together in New York, and we had Dan Henning and, and everybody, Jay. One of the things that we did when Ray Lucas came aboard as our, similar to Justin Fields, early stages, right? Mm -hmm. Before people even liked those type of quarterbacks. We, that playbook was this big. We went, Choo! and we just took just enough stuff out that he did well and allowed him to have success with that. I don't see where they're doing that. So what happens, Key and Mike, if... Matt Nagy is not there this upcoming weekend. They play against the 49ers, and Justin Fields has by far his best game. What will, what will, what will we be talking about Monday morning? We'll have a week's worth of topics. <laughs> no, look. Ooh. and that it, That's not good, Mike. No, that it's won't not be good. good. It's not good. It's like Case Keenum playing well and why they don't have to pay Baker Mayfield. <laughs> like, Case Keenum took money out of Baker Mayfield's pocket last Thursday night, and – that's a really interesting or, question. Or what the Raiders doing with Rich Passaccia when John Gruden was there. Everybody felt like they were in jail. When he left, they opened up the cell and let him run on the yard. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Like you said, who did they go to? Sometimes just removing a piece allows other pieces to flourish in ways that you Addition maybe never saw Addition by before. subtraction. There Remember it that? is. Uh, by the way, Matt Nagy's, and Key put me up on this. Look it up a couple weeks ago. Matt Nagy's head coaching career record, including this year, 31-24 and 24 in the regular season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.